Well, it's another day. I was out here yesterday, moved Big Red from that location over to here, and that was quite a chore because it won't run. I had to push it and pull it and winch it and get it moved around over here because I got to be in line with this driveway. I got a tow truck coming out this morning. Should be here in about 15 minutes, I hope, and finally maybe get this baby home. I think it's going to be a good little project. I don't know if I'll leave that bed cover on there or not. But it's very straight. If you look down the sides there, no real body damage at all. Got a tiny little rust area right there. Another one right down here behind the cab and of course the hood all the paints faded off of that and on the top too got a little morning dew on it this morning maybe it rained overnight I don't know but the grill front bumper all that's just about perfect same thing down this side no no dents no body damage Tiny bit of rust starting to show right there, but not bad at all. Back bumper, tailgate. You don't see them this clean, this straight, very often. Hey, check this out. I was just looking through some of the paperwork and junk that's in here while I'm waiting for this tow truck guy to come. Down in this bag here, this is the AutoZone bag. A new fuel pump so I think that's the problem and <clears throat> gentleman before me that owned this truck apparently knew about it it's probably why it got parked here's a receipt for the pump with a 2009 uh, date on it so I think the truck's been parked since then there's a little fuel 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 filter strainer right there too so I think that kind of answers the question as to why I couldn't keep it running a couple days ago. And one thing else I noticed, the listing on this thing on the auction site said been parked for, or hadn't been run for about a year. But that license plate right there is 2010, so last time it was registered. So I think the fuel pump went out on it and it never got fixed. mile drive to get that truck home. It was out here in the mountains. Okay, I'm going to end this video now. I've got to get this truck pushed around to the back to my shop and I can start working on it. If you'd like to follow the progress of old Big Red here, why subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching today.